Hello. So we are going to respond to some questions today that we received from our viewers as we try to also keep safe from these wasps that are in our backyard. So <laughs> maybe you saw that one. All right. Let's do a little intro. My Hello. name is Jen. My name is Kay. This is Baby. Hello. Okay. And you're from? Miyazaki. And I'm from Pennsylvania. And we're now living in? Louisiana. Of all places. Yep. <laughs> Here we moved how many times? Are we talking states or are we talking about places that we've lived? So in the last year we've lived in three states. Mm -hmm. Three different states, um, Pennsylvania, Texas, and now Louisiana, and um, homes. How many places have we lived in? Pennsylvania, Texas, and then Louisiana. But so we had like the hotels and stuff. Oh like, yeah, yeah including the hotels, and then, then probably three hotels. Yeah, three So hotels, like a six for the last two months, three months? Yeah. 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 It was a lot. Right. It was really yeah. tiring. We have no routine. It's why Kay looks like he doesn't have a job. He is employed. <laughs> um, this is why it looks like we're just like eating and hanging out all the time. It's because we've been in transition and moving. Yep. And now here we are, Louisiana. Let's jump into these questions. Okay. Is that okay with you, baby? So the first question is, um, who does the household uh, chores? Or how do we divide the work in the house? Cooking, cleaning, things like that. Paying bills. Mostly me. And <laughs> is doing most of the job. You, you do a lot. He's been doing a lot of cooking in the last two months. Almost all of our meals, which is really great. I clean up and do the washing of the clothes and um, paying of the bills. So who takes care of the baby? Uh, Gang yeah. takes care of the baby and then I do as well. Maybe I take care of maybe 40%, 30%, and then the rest is Jan. That's very generous to yourself. I Let will her say, speak. Uh, I will say I take care of the baby and he babysits. <laughs> I think that's accurate. Yeah. Okay, next question. Next question. Is, uh, what kind of food do we eat? Well, Japanese food. A lot of Japanese food. Um, yeah, it's Which for the is awesome. Yeah, the last two months I cooked quite a bit. Um, what things do you like to make for us? What's my favorite thing so far? <laughs> Japanese hamburg. And so simple. <laughs> it's good. It's easy to cook. It's delicious in its simplicity. It's awesome. What's your favorite thing to make for us? Though? I love curry rice. <laughs> so, what's our favorite food? We are big. What big? I was gonna either. say Mexican. When we are when we used to live in Philadelphia, oh, we used to go to ramen. Ramen place. Oh, we love ramen. Um, what's the next question? What is our daily routine? I don't have any routine for the last two months, and basically I got a long vacation time between my work, so. Uh, Which is not normal, at yeah. all. Yeah, we are drinking right now. In our backyard. That's where we are in so, our yeah. backyard. So what's your routine, Jan? Uh, this is this is my routine right here. Um, he had a pretty set routine when we lived in Pennsylvania, um, but moving around has been difficult for him. We are trying to get back onto a schedule now that we have moved into our home. And uh, yeah, we pretty much wake up. Um, I feed him. I attempt to feed myself, look at what we have to do for the day in terms of moving and yeah. settling, um, buying furniture, turning on utilities, super boring adult things, but are very necessary. And yeah, um, yeah my day pretty much revolves around the baby. My routine is to basically uh, wake up early in the morning and then go walking. I think that's kind of things that I've been doing for the last two months. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned about my weight. I'm losing my weight. Okay, next question. Describe each person's personality. 
All right, ready? Honestly? Yep, yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, as you can see, he's intense because he's not looking at me right now. He's like, go ahead, do it, go ahead. You're ambitious. Like, he has a really strong drive. Like, when he decides to do something, he does it. So this YouTube, for example, this channel, once he decides to get it done, he gets it done. Uh, I'd say he's pretty funny, ambitious, funny, intense meaning. Intense meaning? Meaning you, he, he's pretty hot-headed, I think. <laughs> when I get frustrated, how do, how do I become? You can become like, <laughs> you become like, <laughs> you become like, <laughs> you become like, <laughs> Super Saiyan? <laughs> yes, <Okay. you> <laughs> so, okay. Which is totally not what I've ever expected. Okay. <laughs> I will work on change that. No, you won't. <laughs> Alright, next. Good. Okay, I'll be honest too. Yeah, be Genevieve is very sweet. <laughs> be very honest. nice, be honest. Be very sweet, nice, very kind, and very considerate. I really appreciate it that she's taking care of the baby like quite a bit. I will be working very soon again and she's gonna be busy and then I have to depend on her quite a bit. And of course I'm gonna help, but uh, she's very accountable. Very responsible. Hush. Hundred percent of control of financially for sure. And she knows a lot of stuff. So, all right, next. Oh, I have a question for Genevieve. Why did you learn Spanish? She actually speaks Spanish and she understands Japanese. Uh, it's always been around. Like I've always been around Spanish speaking people. And so I picked up things here and there. But when I moved to London, I thought the next place that I would live would be Spain and um, so I thought okay if I'm gonna move there I should definitely learn the language seriously how much fluent are you in Spanish I'm not fluent like the way that people rate fluency or understand fluency I would say that I'm not fluent I'm like an intermediate speaker in terms of holding a conversation there's I have a degree of fluency right so this but you can communicate you don't have any trouble living there in Spain, Mexico, or mm, any Spanish speaking? I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have trouble traveling mm. to Spanish speaking okay. countries, no. Okay. How about Japanese? My Japanese is like... A little bit? So you took classes in college? Yeah, right? I then... minored in Japanese in college. Okay. And I, my dream was to go to Japan. Never happened. Don't she never been to Japan. Why. Don't ask me why. We were actually planning to go to Japan this summer, but because of the COVID, we ended up staying in the U.S. Sad. Definitely. And the last question, how are you doing with this quite a big transition to Louisiana? I'm doing better than I thought. I'm very different. It's slower pace. Um, people are... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Maybe. People are really um, friendly, courteous. I like it. Considering we have a small child, I think it'll be really good. It's Moving a good to Louisiana. How's it been for you? It's been fine. The, the, big, the biggest, biggest difference between Dallas to here is definitely limited choice of restaurants, less diverse. I haven't really gone to any Japanese restaurants here. I don't even know if there is one. In terms of work, I can't really tell because I haven't started yet. But I will be starting soon. The driving isn't as crazy. People drive really fast. Yeah. In, in Dallas. Dallas. Yeah, yeah. not here. Um, yeah, it's just a slower pace. My family is in here. His family is in here. So Kay has been away from his family for many years. And, uh, but I've been talking to them over the phone. I have been seeing people like in person in the last year. Six, seven months. In 10 years, where do you want to live? Do you want to go back to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Mm, it depends what Pennsylvania will look like in 10 years, but I think in 10 years, maybe we'll be in Arizona. I think so. I want to go to, uh, I want to head to Arizona eventually. He used to live there, actually. Yeah. Um, and I've Arizona only visited awesome. twice, but I did like it. Oh, quiet now. All right, maybe we can call a day today. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.